Hey, what's going on, good folks? It's your man, Chris Thorns, and coming to you with an update on the story. So, hey, let's get right into it. All right, guys, uh, those of you who was with me a couple of nights ago, I did the story about the eight-year-old Noah Bush and how he was um, drowned and killed by a 10 and 11-year-old. Okay, again, shocking. A 10 and 11-year-old drowned his boy and killed him or whatnot. And the story came off as they tried to play it off and say that he accidentally slipped uh, took his shoes off, and then another story, he took his shoes off and went into the water, I guess, try to say he committed, you know, his own demise or whatnot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the update that I have today is, you know how the mom was saying, everybody who was involved need to be locked up or whatnot. Here's the update. One of the children, mom, have been locked up, okay? I want to let you hear this real quick. I'm going to put up the picture of the one of the mothers that are arrested. Let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oops. Silly me. Silly me. Right now at 6 o'clock, a third person is in custody for the drowning death of 8-year-old Noah Bush in Jessup. His death ruled a homicide last week. And according to the Wayne County Sheriff's Office website, Natalie Hardison is facing a felony charge for giving false statements during the course of the investigation into Noah's death. She, by the way, is the mother of the 11-year-old also facing charges in Noah's death. Right now at 6 o'clock, a right, third so person we are is heard in it. custody. What is this? It is historic. There Okay, I don't know what's that all about. So, all right, guys, so we heard that, that a third person is in custody, and uh, one of the third person is uh, the mother's, uh, it's, excuse me, the mother of the 11 year old that did the unthinkable to uh, young Noah. So, I'm going to pull up a picture of this lady. Where is it? Let me see. I'm going to download this right here. And. Uh, Let's see. It is it. Yeah, this is it. Hold on. Okay, this is it. Let me see if I can move this over here. I'm gonna see if I can blow it up. All right, this is the mother of the 11 year old that they said uh, is have been arrested. She has been arrested because they say she gave a false statement as to what happened to young Noah, young eight year old Noah Bush. All right, she gave a false statement. Now this right here probably gonna cause it's probably gonna cause a problem. Period. And here's the thing, you know, you have a black young man. And now, I guess now we'd have figured out that well, I guess one of the children is black, which I'm kind of, I mean, excuse me, one of the children is white, which I'm kind of shocked by myself. I, I wasn't expecting this. So apparently one of the children is white that did this. And it's probably going to cause a lot of problem with this. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be in a racial gray area, you know, because again, now I am really intrigued to find out what would this argument that they were having you know was it something racially said or could this be a possible hate crime you know and this is sad because this is a 11 year old that participated in doing this you know so now it leaves me questions in my mind you know what was this really about to the point that they led him to this area and did what they did to him okay all right so now we have one mother in jail for false statements. So now I am curious about the other child, you know, is, is who's the parent of the other child and are they going to get in trouble 
or was they straight up about what happened to young Noah? You know, this is crazy and this is wild. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of controversy about this. Now that we to find out that this is one of the children's mom. All right. That lied about the situation or whatnot, you know, but again, like I tell y'all, I mean, it's to be expected when it comes to children, when it comes to their own kids, own family members or whatnot, a lot of folks are going to lie for the family members. Even if they know that God honors truth of what happened, they are going to lie for them because they don't want to make them seem like a bad person in the light. It, it, it never fails. It never fails, you know. Even if somebody has raped a child, anything like that, you got a lot of families that don't want it to get out. They want to keep it within the family. They don't want to call the police. Don't want to do anything because they feel like family members should not be calling the police or whatnot. Me personally, I beg to differ. If you doing stuff like that and you and you bringing in them dark clouds around my house or in my life or whatnot, I'm not gonna deal with you like that. You're not gonna put me in that same boat as you. If you out here doing stuff like that, you're not going to put me in that same boat. So, yeah, you might want to stay away from me, you know what I'm saying, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in there, you know, because uh, if I have children and I know you doing this to other children or whatnot, what would make my children any different? You would do it to mine, just like you do it to anybody else's children. My child wouldn't be no different because it's the sickness that you got to do this to children, you know. But just throwing stuff like out there, Throwing it out there, I don't wish that on nobody's child or whatnot. You know, I want all children to be safe, and especially safe for people like that or whatnot. So, again, this the lady gave false statements, so apparently she knew what was going on. She knew what was going on, but hid it, you know, and now she's arrested for false statement. And, again, guys, this is the mother of the 11 year old that they are talking about um her name is natalie hardison natalie hardison and his story is coming out of georgia okay so ladies and gentlemen um okay so ladies and gentlemen this is the update to the story of young noah bush again rest in heaven to him uh, i had reached out to the mom uh hopefully she see my she has seen my messages on um Facebook and hopefully I can talk to her, you know, to talk more about this, you know, and now that we finding out that, you know, this is the mom and, you know, the race of the other child, you know, my thing is regardless of what color race you are, children doing this, that's when you know it's getting real fucked up. That's when you know it's, it's getting real fucked up. But on the other hand, so people gonna look at this like, you know, a white child doing this to a black child. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna have a problem with that. They rely, and I guess I would have to understand that, you know, because hey, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. On your man Chris Thorns. Hey, y'all, tell me what y'all think about this. Thank you for listening.